Hi, VancouverWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Wednesday, March 28th. A damp and dreary morning here in the Mid-Atlantic region. A warm frontal system is trying to push its way through the region. It should pass from the south to the north later today through the region and usher in very mild air for Thursday. Tomorrow looks like the warmest day of the week, perhaps touching the 70 degree mark in the DC metro region up in the 60s in Philadelphia and probably reaching 60 degrees for highs on Thursday afternoon in New York City. Then a cold frontal system slides through the region early Friday. That ushers in cooler air for the weekend and then a series of cold fronts usher in colder and colder air during next week and we'll have to monitor a couple of systems for the possibility of uh, even snow in parts of the Mid-Atlantic region later next week and we'll get into that over the next few minutes. First of all, Here's the uh, European model run from last night, 0Z. These maps available at tropicaltidbits.com. We're looking at 850 millibar temperature anomaly, starting off with this evening. Certainly warmer than normal here in the eastern U.S., but look to the north and west. We talked about this last week. A wall of cold basically setting up across south-central Canada. That will be kind of the source region for our colder air expected here for the first half of the month of April, uh, next week going into the second week of April. Uh, piece after piece of cold air will kind of break off that main area of uh, cold air and uh, head south and east into the northeastern U.S. over the next couple of weeks and it will keep us colder than normal for the most part uh, during the first half of April. It doesn't mean every single day will be below normal, but if you take a five-day average pretty much rolling through that first part of the month, you'll most likely see below normal conditions here in the Mid-Atlantic region. Let's push ahead in 24-hour increments and see what changes come. First of all, <clears throat> here is the forecast map for tomorrow evening, Thursday evening. Again, the warmest day of the week on Thursday, 70 degrees possible in D.C. But look at this up in south-central Canada, way below normal temperatures here. I mean, that is far below normal for this time of the year. Let's keep moving forward. One piece breaks off to reach the uh, northeastern U.S. for the upcoming week, and we uh, will be moderately cold this week and below normal. High temperatures generally confined to the 50s both Saturday and Sunday, and that follows, again, the very mild conditions on Thursday, and it will stay mild into the day on Friday. But again, look to the north here. Just a wall of cold and very uh, cold relative to normal as we uh, get into the weekend. Let's now move forward here. A little bit of a break here, just a mixture of uh, above normals and below normals showing up here uh, the latter part of the weekend. But again, another piece of cold air is getting ready to take it, a turn to the south and east and heads right into the mid-Atlantic region late in the weekend, early part of next week. At the same time, there'll be a weak low-pressure area moving along this boundary zone right here. Monday time frame, and maybe just cold enough for some snow in parts of the Mid-Atlantic region. That's one of the systems we'll have to monitor. Then, that breaks off, still stays a little bit below normal here by the middle of next week, but then still very cold air situated just to our north by the middle part of next week, and <clears throat> that heads south and east into the uh, northeastern part of the country to include the mid-Atlantic region. And here we are Wednesday night and <clears throat> Thursday night of next week. And finally, by Friday night of next week, this 10-day forecast, very cold air throughout the mid-Atlantic region, throughout the uh, northeastern U.S. relative to normal. So again, uh, very mild on Thursday, it stays mild into Friday as well, but then the downtrend begins this weekend. and really just kind of gets worse and worse through the uh, first week of April. Well, in terms of upper level support, let's look at the 500 millibar height anomalies from last night's Zero Z European model run. This is for this evening, Wednesday evening, basically ridging here, <coughs> higher heights than normal in the eastern U.S., again associated with a warm air push to the north, but up to the north and west, a deep upper level low is starting to set up shop over the uh, south central part of Canada. And let's keep moving forward here again. Thursday looks like the warmest day of the week. 
southwest winds in the upper part of the atmosphere in the mid-Atlantic region. But then we get one area of colder than normal heights, colder than normal temperatures breaking off for the upcoming weekend, and very deep upper level lows situated up by the end of the weekend over south central Canada. That sets off a, a wave that we'll have to monitor early next week, right this time frame here, a Monday time frame that could be a low pressure area we'll have to monitor as it starts to turn colder and colder. And here we go by the middle part of next week. One area of interest I'm really uh, quite interested in is starting to show up here by uh, the middle of next week. A vigorous upper level system right here uh, over the northern plains and that will have to be watched because it really becomes a, a deep a vigorous upper level low here over southeastern Canada and then drops southeast right towards the, the northeastern part of the country. This is a 10 day forecast from last night's European model run for the end of next week. We're talking about Thursday, Friday, Saturday time frame of uh, next week where um, uh, Saturday I believe is April, uh, Friday is April 6th, Saturday April 7th. We'll have to watch. There's a vigorous looking upper level system that looks like it may come down and again we showed a minute ago we'll be way below normal for this time of the year. Now to get snow in April is obviously quite difficult. We had a good snowstorm way back in 1982 on April 6th and 7th, certainly uh, for Pennsylvania north and east, but in D.C., for example, high temperatures right now, the normal high is, is uh, roughly about 60 degrees, so you have to get down 25 to 30 degrees below normal to give yourself a shot at snow this time of the year. But again, next week, we see some colder and colder air masses moving into the northeast U.S., and a couple of different systems we'll have to monitor, one early in the week and then perhaps even more impressive uh, the one at the end of next week. Well, let's kind of shift gears a little bit and go to last night's GFS model run. We'll kind of look at the short-term situation here. This is, uh, again, from TropicalTippets.com from the 6Z GFS model run. Some light shower activity. Basically, there can be a shower of rain at any time. Today, tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow night, into the day on Friday. An unsettled period and progressively warmer uh, certainly the peak looks like it'll be tomorrow afternoon, again near 70 degrees in D.C., in the 60s in Philadelphia. And we'll move forward here, a batch of showers headed our way for late today and tonight. And then another batch starts to form over the uh, uh, south central U.S. and that spreads some uh, activity to the Ohio Valley later tomorrow. And that low pressure area rides up to the north and east, and a cold front will trail that low pressure system by the time we get into late Thursday night, early Friday morning. By Friday morning, here we go, that low pressure area with its associated cold front right over the mid-Atlantic region. So certainly some showers, maybe even an isolated thunderstorm early in the day on Friday. Then by later in the day, we start to turn colder. We'll have uh, increasing northwest winds. The shower should wind down, maybe even some clearing later in the day on Friday. And then for the weekend, basically a, a cool and dry weekend. Uh, not excessively cold by any means, but certainly colder than what we'll experience on Thursday. Uh, high temperatures both on Saturday and Sunday, primarily in the 50s. And then we get into the day uh, on Sunday. Could even be a shower of rain or uh, snow in some of the higher elevations to the north and west on Sunday. And then we'll have to monitor a little bit of a weak system here as we get into the early part of next week. Here we are by late Sunday night. Chilly air in place here over the uh, mid-Atlantic region. And this is a system we'll have to monitor for the day on Monday. Again, that's overall a weaker system than the one that potentially might have an impact here at the end of next week. So. Up and down with the temperatures. First we go up. 60s tomorrow, maybe even 70 degrees. Cooler this weekend and then gradually progressively colder next week. And again, the first half of April looks like it'll be below normal temperature-wise here in the mid-Atlantic region. That colder trend could go through the month of April, even into the month of May. There's some signs for that. That's it for now for VancouverWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Orion.